Uh, we're going to roll right to our first guest, who I've been getting acquainted with here on the set. His name is Robert McWilliams. So if you could join me in helping welcome Robert. Glad that you're here today, my brother. Thank you. Thank Glad you. that you um, that you came to us today just to share with us the ministry that you are engaged in. And I think it's such a huge need. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and tell everybody what it is. It's called Saved and Single, right? Correct. So is it possible to be both? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Right it on. is. It is. Um, you know, Saving Single is, is a ministry that got started in February of 2011. Okay. Um, originally started online, and a, a lot of it is indeed online. Um, we have a bi-monthly conference call that we meet uh, on Tuesday, I'm sorry, on second and fourth Saturdays. Right. And um, people literally from around the world, all wow. over the U.S., Canada, uh, Jamaica and other countries as well tune in and we pray and encourage each other in the word just nice. you know so they didn't know that they're not alone right 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 just because you're single that mean you got to be lonely correct yeah right so what was it that inspired you to say hey this is a need that I really want to help address and I want to minister to folks that and encourage people that are single what what sparked that for you Ah, uh, you know I think uh, with you know, as we was talking even earlier, you know, often in youth ministry, which is something I was once upon a time yep. involved in, yeah. you know, it gets a lot of attention. Uh, I think even music ministry, which is something else that I'm involved in, gets a lot of attention. But you don't see uh, in a lot of churches anything mentioned for singles or whatnot. Mm. And so um, I wanted to develop something where singles could, from different churches could connect. And um, just encourage each other and say, hey, you know, let's encourage each other until God transitioned us to <laughs> right. marriage. Right. So what would you say to people who are in this season of singleness? Because what, what do they need to focus on to help them stay pure, stay holy, but yet, um, I mean, God made us for marriage. I mean, it's, there's a few people that have a call, a, a call to celibacy, but mm -hmm. for most of us, eventually we're going to be married. Right. I've been married for over 22 years <laughs> and thank God for my beautiful bride who's actually going to be with us on the show later. Awesome. And, uh, and you said that you're single but you believe this is a, a season for you, not a calling, but you're just in a season of being single that one day you feel like you will be married. So what do you say to folks that are in that season like you are? Uh, I think it's a time of preparation. Um, you That's know, good. it's interesting. I was looking at a statistic for Alabama. They said that 51% of people in Alabama fall in single category, wow. whether single, never married, or divorced, okay. or widowed, or whatnot. But um, in the single of singleness, uh, the season of singleness, uh, one should definitely develop their relationship with God. Come on. Um, that, that's key, you know. Um, also, they should develop what's their purpose, what's mm. their calling. A lot of times in that time of singleness, God wants you to himself so he can develop whatever <laughs> callings, whatever gifts yeah. that he wants you to function in. And one of the benefits of being single is you can devote more time to the church. You can give more um, to the community or whatnot. Right. And I believe God wants us as singles to give more to God, to devote ourselves and, and find, develop our callings. Yeah, well, okay, what would you say to, because we have a lot of single young adults in our church, what would you say to a single person that would say, yeah, that sounds great, Robert, <laughs> but, I mean, if you want to catch fish, you got to go where the fish are, and so I'm, I'm hanging out in the nightclubs and at the bars, you know, and I'm not being bad, but I'm just trying to, you know, get around where there's other single people. What would you, how would you answer that question? Uh, you know, you got to, you know, God wants us to be pure and holy in, in all aspects of our life. And, you know, God cares for the total man. He cares for our spiritual being. He cares for our relationships. He yeah. cares for every aspect of us. So if you have a desire to, I would say to a single that wants to be married, mm -hmm. you know, delight yourself in the Lord Come and he'll on. give you the desires of your heart. So That's you don't have stuff. to compromise your standards. You don't have to go out into the world per se, but right. just delight yourself in God and he'll, he'll delight, he'll give you what you're seeking for. Come on. That's good <laughs> stuff. I like to think about Adam, you know, the first man. He was in the garden and he wasn't looking for a woman and God, but God brought him one. Right. And she was perfect just for him. Right. But he was serving the Lord and the Lord brought him his mate. And I think that it takes, I mean, I don't want a mate that the Lord hadn't brought me. Right. You know what? You could go find one, but you might, you might not know what you got until so it's true. too late. So true. <laughs> so I tell my, our single folks, hey man, God knows where you are. So instead of looking in the 
nightclubs, come hang out in the light club. Right. And, and I mean, you'd be better off finding a mate at church who's going in the same direction as you are and Correct. serving Jesus and, and has the same values as, as you have. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and, you know, our church is growing, but in, in times past, I've had single folks go, well, I'm going to go to this other church that's bigger because <laughs> there's more. Look, don't be led by circumstances. Right. Be right. led by the Spirit of God because God knows. I mean, Adam didn't say, well, I'm going to go over to this other garden because there's more. <laughs> there wasn't any women. God had to make you. God's got to make you a mate. He'll make you a mate. He will. So what encouragement do you have for that single person who maybe they're getting a little impatient and they're starting to think, maybe I need to go where there's more single people. Maybe I need to go to this bigger church or this, this uh, I need to go to the Mardi Gras ball or I need to go to the, the the, the nightclub, you know, what is your encouragement to them? Um, I don't think it's necessarily anything wrong with going and visiting, sure. but um, again, you have to make sure your focus and your heart is right. Again, delight yourself in the Lord, right. and He will That's give you the, the desires of your heart. Also, uh, you know, uh, I think um, as we get active, honestly, when you mentioned Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. but every story in the Bible that illustrates a couple getting together, mm -hmm. they always was busy doing the will of the Lord. Uh, if you think of even more, uh, probably even more popular in the single world, Ruth and Boaz, yeah. you know, Ruth was busy working in the field, yeah. so to speak. And, um, you know, even Ephesians 4 and 1, it says, you know, uh, what worthy of the calling that you've been called. So. As a single person, you should know what what am I what ministries is the Lord calling me to? Mm -hmm. You know, is it youth? Is it music? I mean, there's so many things that's, that's right. going on, um, you know, that you can be involved. Everybody has a gift that they can use that God can use. Yeah. And if once you know your calling, I think once you get involved in that, once you get busy, plugged in and serving for God, God's going to. He's going to provide that, that yeah. spouse for you. Amen. Because he is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, our provider. Yes. And my God shall supply all oh. my need. And so if you're, if you're watching today and you're single and saved and you believe in God for a spouse, let me just encourage you that when the Bible says that he'll supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, it includes a spouse, it includes a man, it includes a woman, it includes, you know, a, a mate that's suitable for you, a help meet that'll be a blessing to you, and then you'll be a blessing to them. And uh, not that you won't compete with each other, but you'll help complete each other yeah. and complement one another. So I just want to encourage you. And, and look, we have prayer workers here at TBN in the studio that want to pray for you. And you might think, oh, I don't need prayer. I'm just going to keep believing God. That's great. But look, let us come into agreement with you because God cares about this part of your life also because you're important to God. And therefore, everything that you're going through is important to the Lord as well. And so I'm going to give you the phone number. We want you to call. Let our prayer partners connect with you in agreement. The number is 251 one six five zero zero six two one two five one six five zero zero six two one and there's an eight 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 number as well that they'll put on the screen if you're out of the region but we want to believe God with you that he will meet all of your need and we have some resources we want to tell you about so Robert brought some things that uh, that you can make available to those that are watching us today and just tell our folks first of all what do you have these are free resources right correct That's they are very free. generous and awesome yes yes uh, one of them we have the um, four P's to pray uh, as a okay. saved and single and um, this is something I actually did a message on it um, the four P's of prayer for singles okay. and um, the first P is purity and, um, you know, once you uh, become saved, uh, you know, whether you're saved or single or married, God wants us to be pure. He Amen. wants us to walk in holiness. Um, so being pure, basically, God is calling us to be undiluted from the world. Amen. Uh, well said. Um, the second P to pray, once you're pure, once you're um, walking in that purity, God wants you to walk under his protection. Yes. Um, because the enemy, once you're cleaned up, he's going to send everything to you, all kind of temptations, yep. all kind of distractions to sure. dilute that purity. Absolutely. So we need to pray for the protection. Um, the third P is purpose, you know, as, as we mentioned uh, earlier. You know, we need to purpose. know what is your, what are you calling you, in your singleness? What is yeah. God calling you to yeah. do? What is Why God wanting here? you to do? Right, yeah. right. Um, and lastly, perseverance is the last P to pray mm -hmm. because a lot of times people will start, they'll give their life to God, they'll 
walk in pureness. Mm -hmm. They'll walk in God's protection. And they may even walk in their calling, but then sometime by the wayside, they'll drop off. Yeah. And so we want to pray for perseverance to keep on until God blesses us with that spouse and then keep on walking in God's will yeah. after that point. Amen. So um, if anybody wants to get a hold to the, yeah, the bookmark, awesome. they can go to our website. Okay. It's www.savedandsingle.info okay. and basically click on the uh, free resource link and then fill out the info and we'll mail a bookmark to That's them. That's awesome. And it's free of charge. It is. Yeah. It is. So, um, so purity. Tell me what they are again. Purity. Purity. Protection. Protection. Purpose. Purpose. And perseverance. Perseverance. <laughs> Amen. And then then you're going to walk in God's plan. Yes. That's good stuff. So what else do you have? You have something else that's pretty I cool. I do. I do. In 2013, we came out with the Save and Single Info um, Word, Prayer, and Affirmation CD. Okay. Um, and uh, as initially, we was offering and it's still available on iTunes, uh, Amazon. Um, as, but you can actually go to our website and get it for free. All right. Uh, and it's 21 tracks of um, different songs, but also uh, the word, um, mm -hmm. different people. Uh, we have um, uh, Brother Paris Hearn, uh, who's a musician, also an author. Uh, we have um, Sister Carrie Ann Baird, who's from Jamaica, and okay. she writes single resources. Yeah, so all of these, yeah. <laughs> so um, so all of we have different people from all over the world, literally. That's uh, giving short messages, um, songs or whatnot to encourage right. singles okay. and their singleness to keep on yeah. um, waiting on God. Right on. What would be like a sample of an affirmation that might that they might find on this download? Uh, there's different prayers, actually. There's a one prayer that, that I'm doing uh, for the single male prayer for a spouse. Okay. Also, Sister Carrie Ann is doing a, a prayer for the single ladies to pray, pray uh, for a spouse or whatnot. So it's a lot of different resources, and uh, I, I'm, I'm certain it's going to be a blessing to them. So what you're saying is that if somebody's watching today, they can go to your website, which, again, they're going to put that up on the screen. It's www. Saved and single. Say, is it A-N-D single? A-N-D. Saved and single dot info. info. And click on the free resources link, and they can download these 21-track MP3s, prayers, affirmations, songs, and music. That's right. awesome, man. That's yeah. awesome. How cool would it be if uh, a couple met by downloading stuff from your website? They're like, hey, I, I got that bookmark. Where'd you get that? And they ended up getting married. That'd be, that'd be cool. It would so, be. Well, well look, we want to encourage you to please go to the website, savedandsingles.info. And that's Save the Singles Ministry, and you can get more of Robert's uh, information and his products. And these are all free resources to help you in your journey so, and to help you to uh, take your next step. And we believe strongly in that. So uh, thanks for being on the show with us today, Thank man. You. What a joy. And Thank we you. look forward to seeing how God continues to use you in, in your ministry. Thank you so much. And we love the single folks in Mobile, Alabama. So remember to call us if you need some encouragement today, 251-650-0621.